Let's start with the fact that water covers 70% of the Earth's surface. These are seas, oceans, and rivers, which have been studied by only 20%, and the remaining 80 are fraught with terrible secrets. Today we know more about what can be found in the far corners of space than about who lives in our own seas. In today's video, we will show you the creepiest inhabitants of the world's oceans, as well as several exciting fights of predatory fish. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell in order to not miss new videos. Enjoy watching! A small navy seal was peacefully playing near the shore, but a hungry killer whale interrupted his perfect hideaway forever. The long-awaited dolphin flip ended with an unexpected appearance of a killer whale, which will now not leave the poor dolphin alone. Sand strikers, also known as bobbit worms, are taller than a person, but they hide deep in the sand. They wait for some fish to swim past so that they can grin their teeth and have dinner. The seals went deeper and stumbled upon a huge hungry shark, which wasted no time and immediately began hunting careless animals. Sharks smell blood better than others. This is an ideal bait for aquatic predators. A white shark sensed a dead carcass on the surface and immediately swam to have dinner. Stingrays are the most dangerous victims as they are well protected by current discharges and therefore the killer whale first hits the stingray with its tail which confuses and immobilizes it and only then proceeds to the most important thing. The shark throws the victim high above the water and then swallows it in a beautiful jump. Thus, the predator does not leave a single chance for salvation. The hammerhead shark prefers to hunt on the ocean floor where stingrays and other fish usually hide. It is there that these predators are the easiest to overcome the victims. Just look at how quickly and accurately the hammerhead shark takes the life of a stingray that was not expecting an attack. Whales are the largest mammals on the planet, but this does not stop predatory killer whales who gathered together surrounded the gray giant and began to attack. The whale held on for a long time and bravely resisted, but to no avail. A hungry predator is an invincible one. Attacking the stonefish was a bad idea. At first, it seems that the eel is winning because it is larger, stronger, and even attacked unexpectedly, but that isn't the case. The stonefish begins to swallow the eel and it succeeds. A giant tiger shark is chasing a turtle. One of the guys on the boat noticed and pulled the poor thing out of the water. After a while, people decided to release the turtle back into the water. They shouldn't have done it. The tiger shark grabbed the turtle by the leg and started biting it. The turtle tries to get out, but the shark grabbed the victim with a death grip and dragged it deeper so that no one could save it. The dolphin strayed from its pack and found himself in the mouth of a killer whale. The baby's carelessness cost him his life. There are no chances to get out of the predatory mouth, so the baby does not even resist, but calmly meets the finale of his life. Sharks slowly explore the ocean floor in order to find the next victim for themselves. Shark is the queen of the ocean, but there's also someone stronger. The well-disguised octopus abruptly grabbed the passing predator and without a second's hesitation began to squeeze it with its tentacles without giving a single opportunity to start resisting or fighting back. Dolphins are often targeted by sharks and killer whales. It's understandable, they're small and very careless. They're always floating near the surface, so they are the perfect victims. Due to its length, this sand striker can safely swallow even medium-sized fish. Because of its larger mouth and many teeth, it can kill virtually any victim. A white shark pulled an eel out of its hiding place and forced it to engage in a fight with it. Despite the fact that the predator surpasses the eel in size, strength, and cruelty, it tried to fight until the last drop of blood.
and here, an eel is fighting an octopus. In this battle, the winner is not clear. On one hand, a large, dangerous, and very hungry eel, and on the other, an equally huge and powerful octopus that loves life too much. The killer whale grabbed the tiny whale and dragged it away from its relatives. Sharks are not confused by the presence of spectators. Their main goal is to get full. Therefore, people and animals should be more careful because meeting with a predator becomes the last event in life. A pack of reef sharks began fighting within the family for food. Hunger turns already dangerous sharks into the most dangerous inhabitants of the world's oceans. Diving into a shark habitat, even in a protective cage, is very dangerous because a hungry predator can break the structure and a curious tourist can turn into a frightened victim. Manta rays are also called the giant sea devil, but despite its intimidating appearance, this huge stingray feeds on marine plankton and small crustaceans and does not pose any threat at all, but on the contrary, has a calm and docile character. The oceanic sunfish or mola fish is one of the heaviest fish in the world. The average weight of an individual reaches 1,000 kilograms. Also, the sunfish is a dangerous predator and a record holder for laying eggs. In one season, the mola fish lays up to 300 million eggs. What is especially incredible about sunfish is that it has absolutely no scales and teeth, which, by the way, it does not need because its unique mouth allows it to grind prey. The anglerfish is commonly called the sea devil, not only because of its very unattractive appearance, but also because a meeting with an anglerfish always ends fatally. The principle of hunting this fish is called a trap. If the victim is larger, then the angler will choke to death, but will not let it go. The dinosaur shark has a unique fighting technique thanks to its long nose. It allows it to outwit smaller fish and have a satisfying meal without any problems, but also interferes with the maneuverability and visibility, which is why the dinosaur shark itself often becomes a victim of larger inhabitants of the depths. The hairy frogfish looks quite strange, but it's not useless, because it helps the fish disguise themselves as algae in order to invisibly attack those who swim by. At the right moment, the hairy frogfish simply opens up its huge mouth wide and sucks the little victims into itself like a vacuum cleaner. The sawfish is able to cut another fish in half with its nose, which unconditionally makes it one of the most terrible and dangerous inhabitants of the ocean. Few people would like to meet a floating hungry chainsaw. But even such dangerous sharks have a weak point, and these are their teeth. Yes, but it's not that simple. To take the life of an ocean chainsaw, you need to deprive it of all its teeth. If you don't take all of them, it will simply grow new ones. Kobudai is the strangest fish in the deep sea. These fish live in a large flock of females with only one dominant male. How is it that there are so many females? It's very simple. They can change their gender. The angel shark is an extremely rare species of shark that looks very much like a stingray. The wide and flat body allows the angel shark to wander around the bottom without any problems, and the sand color merges with the ocean floor and quietly waits for unsuspecting prey. The electric eel is a perfect predator for at least two reasons. First, its appearance allows it to merge with the muddy pond in which they live, and second, the cells of the organs of the eel produce electrical discharges with a voltage of at least 600 volts. The yellow-headed fish looks cute enough, but don't be fooled. It's actually a fierce predator, which is also called a jawed fish. 
It digs a hole in the sand with a large mouth and then sits there in ambush, waiting for a passing victim or hides there from large predators. The barracuda is a dangerous predator of warm waters. In length, barracudas reach 3 to 4 meters and their weight often exceeds 50 kilograms. The speed that representatives of this genus develop are amazing, that is, 50 to 60 kilometers per hour. But what really scares me is the fact that barracudas are cannibals. Yes, you're right, these fish can safely eat a wounded or weak relative. And they do it with more joy than they will go hunting. Not only are hammerhead sharks wide enough, but they can also reach 6 meters in length. But what is really interesting is that they can safely live, reproduce, and hunt both in fresh and salt water, which means that they can be found in both the depths of the ocean and on the surface of some rivers. That's it. Thanks for watching.